What it do? What's happening? What's good? What up? What's happening? I ain't tested my live stream. I finally got back out of Facebook jail, so I'm going to be very careful with what I say. Jers, what's happening? Laverne, what it do? I'm going to try to be careful, man, with uh, with what I say on Facebook. What a Greg, you supposed to call me and tell me you're going to hit me with an epic... Uh, an epic text message, but then don't finish it. Mr. Clarence Carter, what it do? Nathaniel King, good morning to you as well. Tracy, my sister, I love you. Roy, Ray, I'm sorry. Squeaky squeak, what's happening with it? All right, let me get into this thing, man. First off, this morning, I want to tell y'all this. I love you. I am proud of you for everything that you have become, for everything that you're going to become, for everything that you promised to be. For everything that you want to be, I'm proud of you. One thing I want y'all to know, for me, it's not the accomplishment. It's the fact that you had a mind and that you were strong enough to even make the effort to even achieve whatever it was you were trying to achieve. Um, For me, I don't care about I don't care about the win. I care about the fact that you even thought you could win. The fact that you even tried to win, the fact that you went out there and gave it your all. To me, the winning part is easy. It takes nerves and it takes guts to get out there and attempt it. It takes nerves and it takes guts to 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 go against to to take all of that negativity and still go out of there and move and move forward positive. That's what I'm proud of you guys for. Because everybody that's on this feed, man, in some kind of way, in some shape, form, or fashion, been told to chill out, man, you're doing too much, or you can't do this, or you can't do that, or who you think you are, because I know I get it all the time, so I know y'all get it, but it's because of you guys, what up, Stephanie, what up, Joseph, what up, Richie, it's because of you guys, man, that that actually go the extra mile, not so much so that we can show a person nine ninety nine now, I told you I was going to do it, but more, more so just for an accomplishment and a goal that we set within ourselves, see, The problem with everything now is that you have people that do not dream anymore. I'm still a dreamer. I'm a dream until God take me off this face of this earth. I'm a dream about me being better, about you guys being better, about my family being better. Um, Anybody that know me, they can call me about an idea or a question and I'm going to answer it. I'm going to help you with everything that I possibly can. You feel what I'm saying? I I promise you I'm going to give you the best possible advice. I'm going to give you the best possible you know, answer, I'm going to tell you the truth, you know, whether you want to hear it or not. I mean, I'm, I, that's just me. I don't know how to, I don't know how to water it down and be fake. A lot of people say I'm fake. Like, oh, you don't, you can't love everybody. You, you know, you can't be as happy as you are. Dude, if you knew my family, if you knew, if you know my, I don't want to get teary out. If you know where I come from, okay, and you know what I've been through. A lot of y'all don't know, 15 years in prison. I did 15 years in prison, okay? Was out there in the world and in the way. Didn't know what I was going to do. Didn't, d- didn't have a clue. But it was, it was a person, an old, uh, I'm going to call him an OG, a Chinese cat, that took interest in me. <laughs> Prince said Martin Luther King. <laughs> it was an old cat that took interest in me when I was in prison, man, and just changed my life, period. And ever since then, I've been on a forward thinking, not a negative or a backward thinking. And I try to give you guys that. You guys don't understand, man, what it is to have somebody, to know somebody that's on a positive momentum. I mean, I got you guys. I love y'all. Y'all know y'all can call me. We call each other. A lot of y'all on here, we have personal conversations with off of Facebook Live, off of, you know, YouTube. We really, you guys got my number. You guys can call me. I can call you guys. Um, and and that's, what's, that's what's so beautiful about the set. Um, the, 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 the other part of it is this, man, is that we have to start guarding our words. We have to start guarding our our momentum, okay? Because a lot of times what we're doing is we're putting energy into a person who could care less about the energy that's being given. You feel what I'm saying? You're you're putting all this energy, effort, and 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 drive into a person, an organization, a motorcycle club, a girlfriend club, a social club, whatever you want to call it. Hell, your mate. Man, wife, husband, boyfriend, or whatever, you putting all this energy into them and they could give a fuck less about the energy that you're giving them because they don't have any energy within themselves. I'm telling y'all this now, this is some real shit. You have to be careful and you have to start guarding 
who it is that you give your energy to and who it is that you share it with. You know, they always tell yourself, you know, you need to be more more private when you got ideas and stuff because people are going to steal them. Let me tell you something, man. You can't take nothing from me that God has ordained for me. You can't take it. Y'all been trying to take FHO. Y'all been trying to take um, everything else I got, you know, everything. But you can't because it's destined for me. A lot of times, man, when people call me about stuff and I tell them, homie, you can never understand, you will never understand my vision because it's my vision. It's not yours. So that's why when people come to me with visions, I don't call it stupid or crazy. It's not my vision to see. Only thing I tell them and encourage them to say, hey, man, if that's what you want to do, do it with all your heart. What up, my mom, my sister Mona? What up with the Manny on there, my, my boy Tr- and my, girl, my cousin Trina? I love y'all. I tell people all the time, my vision is my vision. Your vision is your vision. I'm going to always encourage you to follow your vision, to follow your dream. Listen, man, we need to get back to dreaming. We need to get back to believing that we can achieve, believing that things are ours. It's destined for us. It might not be right now. You might be struggling like a motherfucker right now. It might be like the bills is due, shit is crazy, you don't know what the fuck going on. But I promise you this. Hold on. I promise you. Keith, what up? Chris, what up? I promise you, hold on. Because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, when you give up, it's you that it was you that let yourself down. A lot of people want to say, you know, well, my circumstances, you know, I didn't come from this or I didn't come from that. Well, say you got a mother and father, you got a whole family. Okay, so what that got to do with anything? If if I don't if I don't take it, if I don't allow my heart and my mind to work together to work in conjunction, then it don't matter. It don't matter, excuse me. It don't matter what support team that I have. It really don't. It don't matter what support team that I have. You can have the best support team in the world. If you don't get off your ass and start dreaming, if you don't get off your ass and start loving yourself, if you don't get off your ass and take the first two, three, four, five, six steps, then I don't care what support team you got. I don't care who you got backing you, who you got showing you love. A lot of people tell me all the time, sell man, with all the people you know, man, FHO should be the biggest shit in the world, man. You you know millionaires. You know Greg Street. You know so-and-so. And I just threw Greg Street name out there because that's my partner. And he can understand. You know, he can understand. But a lot of people tell me, man, why they don't just give you a million dollars? Hell, didn't nobody give it to them? They had to work and struggle to get their bread. I got to work. And, I got to. See, this is the thing, man. One thing God doesn't do is he doesn't cast his pearls among swine. He don't do that. You have to show yourself approved, man. You have to show yourself in line and in order, in order to receive what it is that you're supposed to receive. Listen, I don't expect for nobody to give me nothing, okay? I really don't. It's a beautiful blessing when I have, hey, my boy Heavy on here, my sister Star on here. It's a beautiful blessing when I have friends who send me 10, man, let me tell you something. I'm getting ready to get back on the road again. I'm, I'm going to be gone for a little while this time, too. When I got on the road last, my last trip was uh, March, April. I had people that sent me ten dollars. Say, "Hey, sell it ain't much. Hopefully, to get you a burger, you know, and put the rest in the gas tank." I had people that sent me twenty dollars. People that I didn't even know, and I promise you, you will not be forgotten. Everybody that ever sent me money, that sent me money on the last trip. If you come to Atlanta to the FHO event, you in free. I don't care, and, they, they, and that's that's just the least that I can do. That's just the least that I can do. You feel what I'm saying? So it ain't, even, it ain't even about that part. It ain't even about giving back because you gave it to me with no get back. But I'm just telling you, man, my journey, my journey has been up and down. It's been sideways from being in a club to not being in a club to trying to figure out the club shit to the social media shit, trying to be politically correct without stepping on toes, trying to understand the lifestyle that we live in. As far as this motorcycle thing, trying to understand, is it really a hobby? Is it a lifestyle? You know, dealing with from this OMC to that OMC, trying to understand the difference in it all. It's been crazy, man. It's been an up and down roller coaster. It's it's been it's been something, man, that I never and never knew or never expected to get into. But I'm in it now. So now that I'm in it, I'm going to put I'm going to give everything I got to it. And that's all I'm saying, man. We as a as people, man. What up, Mark? What up, Leon? What up, Sunshine? To my girl, Sunshine. We as a people, man. We got to get back to believing in each other. We got to get back to to dreaming. We got to get back to 
to just understanding that, hey, sometimes it ain't about you. It really ain't. It ain't about you and your dream. Let's support somebody else and they dream and they movement. You feel what I'm saying? Let's. And when I say support, I'm not telling you that you have to believe. What up? Hey, my man, big dog on here. What up with you? What up, Christy? What up, Jojo? You don't have to believe everything somebody tell you. Okay? But you don't have to destroy everything they tell you either. You don't have to. You know, when somebody tells you, oh, that nigga just talking. Man, that nigga always talking. That nigga always talking about what he going to do. He always talking about he going to have a TV show. Man, that nigga, listen, man. If you don't believe in it, that's fine. But don't don't destroy it. Don't don't pass on the negativity or pass on the hate. Or, or you know, just keep it to yourself. But encourage each other, man. We, 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 are, we are our worst enemies, especially, well, put it like this. In order to be a friend to somebody else, you got to be a friend to yourself. And if you was a friend to yourself, and, and this is a question for you. Would you be your own best friend? Knowing who you are, knowing how you get down, knowing how slimy you is, all the secrets and shit, would you be your own best friend? If you wouldn't be your own best friend, I know all y'all going to automatically say, hell yeah, I'll be my best friend. I know me. I'm, I got confidence in me. Well, understand this. Let's keep it real. How many times have you let yourself down? Or how many times did you give up on yourself? Or how many times did you say, ah, I'll do that later on right now. Ah, that's too hard or that's too... Because we do it. I do it. I used to do it. I don't give up on shit now. I don't care if you... If, if I tell you I'm coming here or I'm coming there, I'm, with, with everything that God gives me, with everything that he gives me, with every breath, with every... I'm going to get there. Period. And if I don't get there... You know, damn well, Cell gave it a thousand percent try to get there. What up, Trina? What up, Lieutenant Dan? What up, Quentin? You feel what I'm saying? We have to start looking at ourselves. You want people to love you. You want people to follow you. You want people to like you. Well, do you love yourself? Do you like yourself? Do you follow yourself? How much investment do you put back into yourself? How much investment do you put back into the people that are right around you? Because you got to understand this. You got to understand this. We judge each other. By the company that we keep, okay, we we kind of we kind of look at oh he fuck with so and so and them I really don't fuck with them I know they that so if he fuck with them then you know you automatically labeled that you feel what I'm saying and that's one thing that that I, I spoke on that the the man crush thing I spoke on that earlier I had a guy call me I ain't gonna put his name out there he called me to tell me how much that that video changed his thought pattern about different people including me. You feel what I'm saying? How that video convicted him to where he was like, damn, Cell was talking about me. And I didn't even know that he was on that page with me. I had no clue. What up, Daryl? Hey, Trina, I'm good. Good morning to you. And, and uh, I saw your little boot thing. Congratulations on that. And hey, Give him some more airplay, Trina. Give him some more airplay, for real. <laughs> Ryan, what up with it? But what I'm saying is this, man, is that this love thing, it ain't hard. It ain't easy, but it ain't hard. All I'm asking each one of us to do is to understand that, hey, it ain't about you sometimes. It ain't about sales sometimes. It ain't about this. It's about us, period, about all of us at the same time. That's what it is right there. It ain't about me. It ain't about you. It's about us all at the same time. If, we, if, you, can, if you can get your mind to understand that, Hey, my sister Sarita, my baby. That's my other. Uh, my that's my. What is? I think Sarita is my second wife. You know, I got a hair on my wives. She's like number two or three. You feel what I'm saying? But that's what it's about. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about us all at the same time. So if we take that mentality and we use the us system. Okay, what would us do? What would us say? How would us respond? You feel what I'm saying? I think that would help us to become better people, man. You feel what I'm saying? I think that will help us to 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 just to just find a way, man. To 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 uh, to find to find a way. I'm trying not to get emotional because it's a lot of shit. Anyway, thank you, Jesus. But I'm trying to find a way, man, for us to become better. For us to to take this motorcycle thing and make it so much more. I am in the search for brotherhood for real. And I'm going to die trying to find brotherhood and sisterhood. I promise you. Um, it's a word that we throw around, man. We, we throw it around like 
It's just something to say. We, we, you know, just like when you tell people you love them. Hey, Regina, we throw that word love around like it, you know, or I'm sorry, brotherhood around like it's, you know, like it really got meaning. And a lot of you, how are you going to be my brother when you ain't even your own brother, brother? You ain't even your own sister's sister. You, you know, you and your, you, you and your, your birth sister ain't even sisters. You know what I'm saying? You and your birth brother ain't even brother and sister. So how can you be my brother or my sister? You feel what I'm saying? Um, we we got to get back to the, to understanding that, like I said, the us thing. It's not about you. It's not about me. It's about us all at the same time. You feel what I'm saying? If we could try to find that some kind of way, if we could try to get an understanding on that some type of way, it, it just wrap your head around it. Just take some time, man, and just... You know, what I what I do sometimes, man, is I go and get in a place where I know ain't nobody going to come in there and disturb me or ain't nobody going to open the door or whatever, even if it's the bathroom or whatever. And I go in there, man, and I just actually sit there. Have you ever just sat down and listened to your mind? You crazy. A lot of you, a lot of, I'm crazy. My mind be having me all, I should kill this person. I should do that to this person. Or oh, what if you did this? Uh, thoughts of suicide, man, you should do this. I mean, my mind is crazy. If I was to act on the intentions of my mind sometime, boy, stop. I'm trying to tell you. Play, go, into, go into a dark place. Go into a silent, a, a quiet, silent place, man, and ask your mind to speak to you. You'll be surprised at what's in your head. You'd be surprised at the people that that you kind of don't like or despise or, or angry at. And every time they expose themselves to me, I try to call and I try to, you know, get that, per you know, just show that person, hey, man, I'm just calling to check up on you, man. So, what up with it, Tony? Um, what up with it, uh, Black Moses? I see you guys in a couple of days. I can't wait to get there. Everybody's scared of the rain. I ain't scared of the rain. I'm I'm there. Rain, sleet, or snow, man. Pound for pound, I will go. You feel me? Um, but let's get back to dreaming. Ask this number one question. The question for today, for this week, this week's assignment. <laughs> I'm teaching now, I guess. This week's assignment is, would you be your own friend? Would you be your own best friend? Would, if, you were, if you were you, would you be your own best friend? Period. Could you be a best friend to yourself? Knowing all the shit that you know about you, knowing all the stuff that you know you've done, all of the secrets and all that, would you be your best friend? Would, would you? Could you be your own best friend? And let's get the mindset of not me, not you, but us all at the same time. If we can think about us, if we can make this thing about us, if we can take the us factor instead of the me factor or the, or the we, the even the hell with the we because the we mean that it's somebody when I say we, me and you, we, that's that's a little bit more personal. But when you put the us, that that covers everybody. Okay? And I know a lot of my sports bike cats and you know, people that don't ride hardest, you victory cats, I love y'all just the same. You know, I'm a talk smack, you know, I'm a you know, give it to you. That's just the nature of the beast, man. That's just me having fun. Um but look, man, again, it's it's here, man, the summer's here, the weather is crazy, it's storming still, there's still snow here. In some parts of the world, it's 112, 113 degrees. Um, you know what I'm saying? I, I, oh, you say, you ready? Already, my, there it is there, Teddy. I'm saying everybody, if they really was to stop and think about it, they know what they've done. They know how they treat women. They know how women know how they treated men. They know, you know, if they cheating on their own, if they cheating on their husband or cheating on their boyfriend or, or whatever it is. If you was you, who you are now, and you was uh, somebody trying to date you or trying to be your best friend, and you know the shit, and you know as a best friend what you know yourself, would you still be able to, to be your best friend? Or would you be like, man, shit, she a hoe. Or no, hell no, that nigga a hoe, and this and this and that. And excuse me for the N-word, but, uh, you know, or he a thief, or he a liar. You feel what I'm saying? If you Because you know these things now. You know these things about you. So if you know all these things about you, your own characteristics, your own traits, you know what you will do, you know what you won't do. You feel what I'm saying? You know what? What the MC mean to you? Put it like let's let's ask this question. Knowing what you know now, knowing who you are now, knowing if 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 you was a member of a club and I know you 
Oh, just me. If I was a member of a club, but I know me, I know how I've been getting down. I know how would I still be? Would I still want that person to be in the MC in my MC? Would I still want that person to rock the same vest as me? Would I put my life into that person's hands? You feel me? Um, you feel what I'm saying? Would would I trust that person with with you know with 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 my secrets with 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 the brotherhood thing? We have to get back, man. I, I'm looking for brotherhood. I promise you I am. And I'm going to tell you right now, it ain't got nothing to do with the vest that you wear at all. I mean, it ain't got nothing to do with the club that you're in. The brotherhood that I'm looking for got to do with those black vests. Those black vests for your SC, for my SC sisters, whatever color vest you got on. That's what brotherhood. Brotherhood got to do with the vest. Not the club, but the vest. Okay. I got brothers that are in different clubs, man, that are my, more my club brother than my own, than the brothers of the club that, I, that I'm in, period. I got brothers from other clubs that I can call right now, and they out of state. And I got, you know, so much club brothers right here in this state that I would call them before I call them, period. And that's just real talk. So the brotherhood don't have nothing to do with the patch that's on your back. The brotherhood has something to do with the vest that you wear. You feel what I'm saying? Um, what we, we what we have to understand is this, man. Is that again? Understand, understand. What up, Robin? Understand that everybody ain't got it. One of my favorite sayings is this, and I, and I hope y'all can. <coughs> I hope you can pick this one up. The streets ain't for everybody. That's why they made sidewalks. Everybody not made to walk in the street. Everybody not made to play in the street. Everybody not made to run in the street. <clears throat> Some people are made to just stay on the sidewalk and watch the people in the streets. But we make the mistake and say, hey, homie, that's my home. But come on, get in the street with me. Come on, come on, get in the street with me and run with me. And he not even cut out to be in the streets. He ain't even, he don't even, he ain't even got the understanding of, of what it took to get in the streets. But because you pulled him in the streets, you, you know, and, and, and you, because you pulled him in the streets, now he's in the streets. So now he, you know, he trying to maneuver, he trying to fit in, he trying to, he trying to find his way, but he don't even have a clue because it wasn't born. Let me tell you something. What we got to do is we got to start holding our own selves responsible to hold our brothers responsible. On this motorcycle shit. If you know you got a brother that's in your club. <coughs> that's not holding his weight. That's not cut out. Get at him. Get at him. I promise you get at him. Because I'm telling you. It's one thing to be on that road with a with, with, <laughs> Excuse me. It's one thing to be on that road with somebody. And you break down. Or you have a situation. And they don't have a clue. As to what to do. Who you are. How to function. For example, I'm going to give y'all this. You name me five of your club brothers or your club sisters that you can go on the road with. And if, if you go down, they know who to call. One thing y'all better, better get used to doing is this. When you put together a ride and you put together a group, small group or whatever, at least make sure. And this is one thing that I do now. Anybody that ride with me, they'll tell you. If it's six or seven of us, ten of us or three of us. I got at least, I text my number to as many of them as possible. And when I text them my information, hey, this is who I want you to call if anything happened to me, period. If anything happened to me, this is who I want you to call. All you need to do is, hey, cell went down, call this number, and, and, and take it from there. You feel what I'm saying? What up with it, Ro? A lot of y'all don't even think about that. How many of your club brothers got your personal information? That's going to save your life. Not, not have it because you, you don't want to give it to him because he might call your house or he might call your wife or you don't really know him like that. But this is what you call club brothers. These are the same people that you got on your back. We all got the same patch on. But you ain't got five club brothers in your club right now. You feel what I'm saying? You ain't got five. <sighs> you ain't got five club brothers or club sisters in your club right now that got your personal information. That if something happened to you on your motorcycle, how many times do we see it? Man, back her down, blah, 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 blah. We get to the scene. Who, who knows his girl? Who can call his mama? Who can, um, what are we going to do? The simple stuff. But I love you. 
Hey, big bro, I love you. Hey, brother, I love you. Hey, sister, you know you're my bestie. Hey, sister, I love you. Girl, stop. Boy, stop. You don't even know. You don't even know how to love. We we got to get to the basics first. The basics. The basics. The basics. The basics. Okay. I shouldn't know who to call. You with me on the journey? We on the journey now. We on a yonder mission. We on a yonder mission. And. The only way I know how to call somebody is because you got a dog tag on. But we we finna go 900,000 miles out. But I don't know no personal information on you. I don't even know, you know, hey, do you have any any allergies? If you diabetic, you know. But we we come on, man, but we finna get yonder together. Man, you guys better stop, man, and get your mind right. You better stop and and figure this thing out, man. It ain't about you. It ain't about you. It ain't about me. It's about us. If we could take that mindset to make it all about us, I'm telling you some of the realest shit ever. You might not be the perfect club president. You might not be the perfect club president. But do you care if you a decent club president? Do you care if you a decent you know, vice president, do you care what you, what the club think about you? Do you care what, do you even give a fuck about the club? Or do you just give a fuck about the title? I know I'm crisscrossing into so much shit, man, because I mean, my mind is all over the place. Do you care about the club brothers not caring that you are um, a good president? We know you can't please everybody. We, you can't please everybody, and we and trust me, dealing with this race thing for uh, July fifteenth, I've been trying my best to just put this thing together. You can't please everybody, but you have to pay respect to the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the head of the table. Okay, I tell everybody this: when people call me, pray, sell, man. You know, we got this issue with our president. You know, this by or our vice president, man. We just okay. Well, let me ask you this: Does he have connections? How long he been motorcycling? Okay, um, you know the respect. How how much respect does he have on the street? Okay, and when you go to talk about your president, make sure your those three things that you well do you. How much time you got? How much respect you got? How much knowledge you got? How many how many connections? How many people do you know? You feel what I'm saying? Because it's not all about just because I started the club or whatever, but. And, and and again, I'm I'm, I'm kind of crisscrossing right now. And I'm trying to I'm trying to get back to, um, uh, anyway, I'm I'm trying to get back to that. But understand this, okay? Understand this. Being a leader, being a leader, is so much more than just a title, than just knowing how to lead. You have to go out there and be able to maneuver to make connections to to know who is who to at least have um to at least have uh excuse me to at least have um i'm getting fucking emotional to at least have the ability to know who to connect with or how to connect with you feel what i'm saying to be a leader wisdom knowledge and understanding and you have to be non-biased as a president I don't have no homeboys in the club. I got members. I got brothers. That's it. That's all I got. I don't have no home, no best friend or no, or no female club besties or whatever. Cause if you got a man talking about bestie, um, we don't, we don't play that around here. Um, but you, you, you have to eliminate the best friend syndrome. Ain't no best friend in a motorcycle club. Ain't no friend. Yes, you do have people that you click with. You might even have people that you're born with. You might even have an actual blood brother. You might even have an actual blood brother in the club. When he joined that club, that is your member or your brother based on this club thing. Period. I don't need you to be making emotional decisions because you're my brother. Or I don't need you to think that you can get away with, with, um, um, I don't need you to think that you can get away with the rules because you're my brother, because you're my blood brother. 
No, I'm going to deal with you just like I deal with anybody else. I promise you. You feel what I'm saying? So leadership, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, non-bias. It is what it is. The rules dictate the club. Um, and getting back to this thing, man. Get rid of the all about me, all about you, and make it all about us. Change your mind to that. Get back to dreaming, people. We got to get back to dreaming. We got to get back to dreaming that we can do the things that we dreamed of doing. Trust me. Dreams do come true. FHO, I'm living it every day. I'm living it every day. I can't wait till it comes to full, you know, full fulfillment. But I'm living F I'm living the FHO dream every day. You know what I mean? People had to tell me that I wasn't going to do it. I wasn't going to make it. I wasn't going to survive. And FHO is cool, but it ain't all that. That's, that's fine. That's fine. But because I'm a dreamer and because I don't already been to the bottom. See, that's one thing y'all don't know about me. 15 years in prison. I did that to the bottom. Had a person tell me when to eat, when to shit, when to get up, when to sleep, all that, what to eat, how to eat it, and how fast to eat it. I done been there and done that. So now, with all this freedom I got, man, I'm loving life to the fullest. And I'm going to make it no matter what because I've already been to the bottom. I can't go nowhere but up. You understand me? So, Homework. Could you be your own best friend knowing what you know about yourself? Could you be your own best friend knowing, by, knowing, by, knowing what you know about yourself? Knowing that you're a liar, knowing that you're a thief, knowing that you're a cheater, knowing that you don't love shit, knowing that you don't give a fuck about shit, knowing that you don't care about shit, you know. Knowing your, you know, your deadbeat dad status or your deadbeat mama status, knowing your, knowing all this shit about you, could you be your own best friend? Honestly, don't just say yeah because it's you because that's that cockiness shit we got. Hell yeah, nigga, I can be my own best friend. And you know you're a liar. You know you're a thief. You know you don't give a fuck about shit. You know you don't care about this. You feel what I'm saying? Hell, a lot of y'all. Only living with yourself because that's all that you got to live with. You know what I'm saying? I mean, it's just it's just something to think about, man. For real. You know what I'm saying? So before you become my best friend and before you tell me you love me, man, please make sure you love yourself. Please be your own best friend before you try to be my best friend or my friend, period. I don't even want, I don't even really want friends. I want best friends. I want to have, you know, they say you my dad always used to tell me that. You're only going to have five, five, you know, five true friends in life and you got a thumb. So that really only, you only got, you know, four, four whatever. However, he used to say something to that category. But he was just saying that, you know, you ain't going to never have this more than this many friends. True, honest to God friends. Um, I'd say I beg the different. I want to have 50 to 100 to 200 to 300. I want to have that many best friends for real. I'm not perfect. I apologize to anybody on here or that you know of um, that I may have, you know, they may have thought I said something about them or whatever. Because um, it wasn't. I didn't. If I didn't call you directly, I didn't. Don Ray, what up with it, man? Congratulations on a beautiful weekend. I heard all the good things about it. My man, hot boy, what's going on with you? Stacy, what up, mama? I love you. Uh, Kit Terry, what it do? So, don't forget you got your homework. Knowing what you know about yourself, would you be your own best friend? Knowing that you're a liar, cheater, knowing that, you know, knowing you're a hoe, male and female, and males is a hoe too. Knowing that you would fuck your homeboy wife, would you be your own best friend if you knew that? If you knew that, if you was on best friend status and knew that you would fuck your homeboy wife, would you still be your own best friend? Your homeboy girl or even your homeboy sister that's barely at the age, you feel what I'm saying? Yeah, but see, she, she on a nigga. I'm like, yeah, well, my nigga, that's your homeboy girl, man. You feel what I'm saying? That's your homeboy's sister, man. At least go to the nigga. At least go to him. Excuse me with the N word. At least go to him and say, hey, man. You know, I know I ain't really, you know, in your eyes, I'm a piece of shit. You feel what I'm saying? But I'm really digging your sister, man. And, you know, the whole nine yards. How many of y'all would have enough enough balls or respect to do that? You, you feel what I'm saying? Just I'm just asking. I'm just talking shit. Don't pay me no mind. You feel what I'm saying? How many of you... Knowing who you are would allow a nigga like you to date your own sister, your mama, your auntie, or your cousin. You probably don't care about the cousins, but I know them sisters and them mamas is kind of, you know, critical. Think about that. 
would you allow you to date somebody in your family? Male and female. Period. Period. It's, this ain't no one gender sided thing. This is just, you know, a whole thing put together. Would you allow you to date somebody that you love? Male or female. Some real shit now. So let's get back to dreaming. Let's get back to loving. Let's get back to, uh, you know, kind of guarding who we spend our, who we give our time, effort, and energy to. Because a lot of y'all is out here in these relationships, man. And I'm going to call them motorcycle relationships because you got your whole family at home and then you got your motorcycle relationship. But then you mad because somebody done exposed your motorcycle relationship or by a video or in the background. But still, goddamn, you know, when you took the video, you saw a girl over there sitting on my bike. Well, nigga, if she can't sit on your bike, why is she sitting on your bike? Period. If she can't sit on. So now you're mad at me because I was doing what I'm, what I'm doing. I'm doing what I'm doing. But you done got caught up in, 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 in the background because old girl sitting on your bike and your wife done saw the video. Okay, well, don't be mad at me, man. Yeah, leave me, leave me be, man. Yeah, she shouldn't have been on your motorcycle. If you ain't grown enough to have her on your motorcycle, keep off your motorcycle. Now, I am not the kind of dude on purpose that will put your business out there. That's your business. I can give a fuck less because I got enough dealing with me and my business. You understand me? Yeah, I know how many of you niggas want mine on your motorcycle. I already know. Yeah, that part. Anyway, another subject. We ain't tripping. But <laughs> get back to get back to understanding that it's not about you. It's not about me. It's about us. Get back to dreaming. Get back to asking yourself if you were you as a best friend. Would you be your own best friend? And actually, that honestly. All right? I love y'all. Hey, man, that's my time. It's Monday. Put some respect on the throttle pound for pound. This weekend, it's going down. Memphis, Tennessee, rain, sleet, or snow. If it's fucking with pound for pound, big sale going to go, man. You feel me? I'm there. Be there Friday. Oh, don't forget, this Thursday, man, my show has went to two hours. They gave me extra 30 minutes, so I'm on from 9 to 11 now. So that's 6 to 8 California time, that's 8 to 10 uh, Houston time, Texas time, and wherever else it is, it's, it's 9 to 11. All right, so make sure y'all tune in, man, download the app. Make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend, man, I love y'all. Sorry for being so emotional this morning, but uh, and sorry for being all over the place, man. You feel me? I got you, Jerz. I'll call you. Um, I love y'all. Truly, I do. That's why I share the way I share. Some may get it, some may not. Some may just think I'm talking shit. It is what it is. Christopher, what up with it? Phenom, what up with it, man? Um, love y'all. Don't forget, put some respect on the throttle. Love yourself. Be your own best friend first before you can be my friend. Love yourself before you can love me. And stop making it about you. Stop making it about me and making it about us. All right? It's your boy, Big Cell, F-H-O-H, and I see, don't forget, July 15, Commerce, Georgia, it's going down. The fastest baggage in the world will be right here in the state of Georgia to get out on Saturday, July 15th. Gate open at 8 o'clock, $25 to get in and watch, $60 to race all the categories that you want to race. It's your boy, Big Cell, F-H-O-H, and I see, and I'm gone. Peace.